Welcome to another edition of Operation Protect the White Boy. Well, today we will be talking about a man by the name of Kobe Bracknell out of Shreve, Shreveport, Louisiana, who is accused of not only slamming, but trying to choke a Shreveport Police Department officer. And as you can see by his mugshot, He's still alive and he doesn't look like anything happened to him. And we got both sides of his face. We got the front card and side card. A Grand Cane man accused of slamming a Shreveport police officer onto a vehicle, then choking her. Choking her, not him, her. So this is a woman. During Saturday's Mardi Gras parade remains in the Cotto Correction Correctional Center without bond. Additionally, a woman who police interfered with the arrest is also in jail on multiple charges. According to booking records, Colby Bracknell, age 22, and I would have never pegged him for 22, was arrested on two counts each of battery of a police officer and resisting arrest with force, violence, and one count each of simple property damage and interfering with the police investigation. I wonder if those co-colonizing cohorts like that fake them is going to speak about this because they love to talk about how if, you know, if we just didn't resist arrest and comply, then we would be good and go home. Or I wonder if Jason Whitlock is going to say something about the single mother problem in the white community because, you know, he had that smoke for, for, you know, those five terrorists that did what they did to Tyree Nichols. Hell, if he had it his way, he probably would have threw that on the Tyree Nichols. Let's continue. The probable cause statement says Kobe Bracknell interfered during a traffic stop. And when instructed to step back from the scene, he slammed a female officer onto the vehicle. While officers attempted to restrain him, Kobe Bracknell began physically choking and trying to strangle the officer. Brianna Bracknell, age 21, also of Grand Cane, was booked into the city jail on charges of operating a vehicle while intoxicated, interfering with the police investigation, open container violation, and driving under suspen suspension prior DWI. Her bond totals $9,500. Um, I'm assuming that this Brianna Bracknell is related to him somehow, maybe a sister. And if that's the case, I guess birds of a feather will flock together. And you don't that that phrase doesn't have to be to people who are non blood related. It seems to me that her and her brother, I'm assuming that is her brother, which is this guy here, just have a history of violence, apparently, because it says she had a prior DWI. So she has a history of driving under the influence. Police said they stopped Brianna Bracknell for being intoxicated with several open beer cans inside the vehicle. She got out of the vehicle without being told to and began interfering in another investigation while screaming racial slurs. According to the booking records. Hmm. Now, that part right there that I just read made it even more interesting. Racial slurs. So now it's making me question, what's the race of this officer that they were choking? I'm only going to assume right now that the officer was black. I don't know the demographics of this place, of this Grand Cane, assuming that's what it says. Well, it says Shreveport. So, Yeah. That makes it interesting. I wonder if she was black. I wonder if the the cop that they were slamming on the ground and choking and everything like that was black. If that's the case, considering what he did and considering what she said, I would not be surprised if that was the case. And as you can see, they were taken in with no avail and no type of apparently physical injury. All the physical injury apparently happened to this female cop. If I was her, I would be suing the hell out of both of them. And they would be doing all types of jail time since apparently they don't want to, you know, harm them in a way that they would harm us. And I wonder, was she by herself? The cop, that is. She didn't have any backup. But yeah, 
He, this guy knew he had a physical domineerance over her. That's why it was easy for him to do it. And of course, you know, like Professor Black Truth says, genetic immunity from law. And they want to tell us that all we need to do is comply and stop resisting and all this type of stuff. Look at what this guy did. He said he began to choke and strangle her, which means he was trying to take her out. Because when you hear strangle, that's more than, you know, that's trying, that's like trying to strangle the life out of somebody, you know, keeping them from breathing. And slammed her. So she, she, this woman probably has a few injuries. And then on top of that, this other woman is Brianna Bracknell, who I'm assuming is his sister, yelling racial slurs. So that tells me all I need to know right there. This family is very anti, I, I'm going to say, uh, until I, uh, uh, otherwise comes out, very anti-black. This guy wanted to choke, as far as I know, a black woman that day, assuming that this cop is black. And that sister of his, assuming that's his sister, wanted to say racial slurs to a black person that day. So there are a multitude of things going on here that do not sit right with me. But that's Operation Protect the White Boy for you. In this case, Operation Protect the White People, because as far as I know, you know, the, they don't have anything up on the woman, even though they should have had her mugshot up here, too, because she's just as guilty. She just didn't do anything physically, but she did have a bunch of beer cans emptied in her vehicle and had prior DWIs. So I believe her mugshot should have been right up here along with his. But I know why they put his up there, because he actually physically put his hands on this cop and slammed her and choked her. And for my own reassurance, just to be sure about what I said about the racial demographics in Shreveport, looks like my hunch was correct. Black or African-American, 57.3%. White is 37.17%. Two or more races, 226 And Asian, 1.7%. So black people make up the majority demographic in Shreveport, Louisiana. So, I, I, so yeah, just based off of this number, yeah. I'm assuming now without the shadow of a doubt that that female cop that this Colby Bracknell choke slammed was slammed and then choked. And I'm assuming his sister was yelling those racial slurs too, had to be without the shadow of a doubt, in my opinion, a black woman. 